What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Now today, I wanna to remind you how close you guys are to actually being permanently good at meeting women because that is a real place to be. I know that from experience. Now, some of you guys are just on the edge of being that dude who's permanently good with women. And I wanna help you guys get over that hump. I got a little exercise for you. So stay to the middle of the video where I give you that exercise and I guarantee you, it's gonna increase your confidence in yourself but it's also gonna increase the amount of pleasure that you derive from going out and approaching. The more pleasure you associate with approaching, the more you're, you're gonna to wanna to get out and do it. The more that you do, the better off you are in the long run, okay? So before we get into that, let's talk about this. Some of you guys are on the brink. Some of you guys are just right over the edge, right? I don't know if you guys have heard Brian talk about it, but he calls it three feet away from the goal. Meaning that you're so close, to becoming that guy that you guys always thought you could be, but there's just a little more that you gotta give in order to get to the other side of it to lock that in permanently. And once you lock it in permanently, man, is it so sweet. I remember when I started to lock it in permanently, I was standing at a Starbucks in line and I had to spend, I spent the whole day out approaching and I was talking to this girl. She was standing there and I saw her and no thoughts went through my mind about whether or not I should talk to her. It was just like, hey, how you doing, right? She had her back turned to me and I just popped it right open. And I left the Starbucks thinking, I was like, damn, that's crazy. I would have never done that before. But I didn't realize I had been doing that for at least a week straight, unconsciously. So actually I had to catch up to the confidence that I had reached. And since that day, it's always been like that. Like when I see a girl, if there is a tinge of worry about it, it goes away like that. And then I go in, right? And so I want you guys to become that guy that when you see a girl, you just go in, you don't even think about it because then that's gonna increase your success rate. That's gonna get you more of the girl that you want because you're starting to show up differently. You're starting to show up confidently. You're starting to show up with less worries and that's what matters because then you start to really show up as your authentic self, okay? So before we jump into the meat and potatoes, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about reference experiences. Reference experiences, your subconscious needs your reference experiences because check it out. When you're logging in negative reference experiences, how much is your, sub is your subconscious recording those things and making it so that when you go out and talk to girls, these negative reference experiences always come up and you're like, ah, oh, I shouldn't approach it because of this, because this happened last time, or this happened a month ago, or this happened a week ago. It's not gonna work out, I did this before, right? Your subconscious is logging the negative, negative reference experiences, whether you want it to or not. So how about we start feeding the subconscious positive reference experiences, right? the positive ones are gonna to start to come up more the more you start to notice them and acknowledge them. And I'll get to that in a second. The more you notice and acknowledge the positive experiences, the more you're going to associate approaching with pleasure. You see a beautiful girl, you're gonna remember the last time you approached a girl and it went really well. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm going into that because I know there's some potential here, okay? So we'll get into that in a second, but before we move over to that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to Fearless. Hit like and subscribe because we're constantly putting out material that's helping you guys become more solid at dating, but also more solid in yourselves as men, right? Self-love, being great with, with creating tension, being able to ground yourselves and handle tension, just being ultimately a solid dude, right? Or, or an alpha type male, as guys call it, which I don't have an issue with the word, but it's making you more of that guy who's indifferent to outcome, who loves life, who's not scared of anything, who just walks into tension openly and vulnerably and becomes that dude who people want to be around and people are attracted to, okay guys? So hit like and subscribe so that you guys don't miss an update. Now, on to the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes is this, the exercise that will push you guys over the edge. So we talked a little bit about reference experiences and how they create those positive images in your head that make you want to get up and want to go out and approach more. Now, we all have a lot of negative experiences in our, in our journey of approaching. I'm sure we do, right? We have moments where we've been rejected where we're constantly just replaying those moments in our head and before we even go out we're kind of like nah i don't want to go out because i know what's going to happen and you're kind of just in this negative vibration right so you don't have enough reference experiences of positive ones or maybe you do but you're just not letting them in here's the exercise a games journal now our coach josh talks about this a lot at the experience workshop because it's true it's so detrimental to your growth a games journal a wins journal and what is that? Well, it's literally getting a journal and literally writing everything that went right in each interaction. Whether you got rejected or you self-rejected or it didn't go well as a total, as a total, totality, right? What in those interactions actually did go good? 
what did you do that was good? What did you do that was different? What did you do that, that you know that you're changing a little bit and that you're actually getting better, right? Maybe it's the fact that you walked to her very courageously and this girl might've been a 10 out of 10 on your scale, right? Or maybe that you just noticed that you're noticing that you're more relaxed in your body. Maybe you're noticing more that you're in your body and you're not vacating your body when you're talking to women, right? Because it's very easy to, to vacate your body when standing in tension. So if this is something that you're experiencing, write it down because you need to remind yourself of all the good that you're doing and how far you've come. Maybe when you started, you had a 0% success rate, which a lot of us start off at that, at that point, right? Maybe now you're getting 25% of girls' numbers. Maybe you're getting 50%, right? Doesn't matter. Write it down. Write it down, I'm feeling my feet. I'm grounded more, I'm noticing that. I'm noticing my comebacks are really good. I notice I'm not getting as reactive anymore, right? And go back and watch that video on reactivity if you guys are, are dealing with that. That was, the, that was actually one of the last videos we put out on how to become more attractive to all women. Now, go ahead and get that gains journal. Get that journal, write it. But here's the, here's the other part of that that's gonna make you guys actually more solid in it, is that read your gains journal before you go to bed every night. At least do it for a week. Give yourself a chance. Every night before you go to bed, read what you have in that gains journal. Notice the next morning when you wake up if it makes you actually wanna go out and approach more. And if it does, then it's serving its purpose. It would always make me do that. It would always remind me of how much those, how much those interactions from the day before or that same day were a lot better than they were two days ago. And then they keep me onto the fact that I'm getting better and I need to keep up with this because a lot of us are just right on the other end of success, but we're at that place where we feel like we're not getting in and we want to pull out. Not a good time to do it, buddy. Stay on course. Okay guys. So again, as a reminder, get that journal. Write down everything that's going right in these interactions. Maybe your girl's smiling at you more. Maybe they're flirting with you more. Maybe they're giving you more of a time of day. Maybe they're planted and they're not trying to run from you. And you're noticing these little things. Write that stuff down and then read it at night. Okay, guys? That's all I got. That right there is going to push you guys to the other side of that hump and make you more permanent at meeting women. Speaking of reference experiences, go back and watch this video. It's called How to Be Attractive to All Women. I shot this video a couple, a couple weeks ago and it talks a lot about reactivity. If you guys are very reactive people, then you guys are probably not getting the success that you wanna get. It teaches you how to really relax and the meaning of being reactive and, and all that it gets you in life when you're less reactive, okay? So go back and watch that video and we'll see you in next week's video. Guys, remember, only the confident really live. Peace.